treacherous lying prick in many ways. Despite his lying about parties and its implications for this cunt's honesty levels generally, which many of us knew was zero for his entire political career, there are many more ways which this sack of shit lies all the time. Sending illegals to Rwanda, no matter how many they attempt to send, it won't even scratch the surface with the millions of people running around the UK who should not be here. They need to go back directly without process. The clown fucked off to India recently, India who a few weeks ago agreed to buy Russian oil, while Johnson was spearheading the charge for the UK and as much of the world as possible to ostracise Russia, including to not buy their oil. Which seems a strange thing to do as India has completely undermined that strategy in connection to the maniac running Russia and his financing of his murderous operations. India, a country which has a large military, a space program, yet the UK sends them tens of millions of pounds in aid each year on top of they now getting cheap oil. Johnson, and this comes as no surprise at all, then starts to declare that he wants thousands, and by that he means at least hundreds of thousands of Indians to come to the UK, no doubt on top of all the rest already invading each year. Despite the UK being grossly overpopulated, due to the invasion over the last two to three decades, from people who often bring harm directly and indirectly, and know they do not provide more services than they take, which is an epic tale of deception in itself. Did anyone think that Brexit would solve the invasion issue? Most immigration could have been stopped while in the EU, they just did not want to do so. All that has happened is that some Eastern Europeans have gone home from the UK, the influx of people from Africa and the Indian subcontinent has increased, and with this latest from our cunt of a prime minister, it is about to increase even more. The elite seem obsessed with changing the demographic of the UK, causing the ancestrally British population to carry the burden and suffer, while these cunts profit from it in various ways, even just with cheaper labour alone. People have over the last two months called for Putin to have a bullet in his head, there's just as deserving closer to home. 